Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at a game that I'm very excited about. This is a Kickstarter project that has just been fulfilled called Wild Serengeti. This is coming from Bad Comet Games. And we are looking at one to four players, 45 to 120 minutes. We're also going to take a quick look at the end here at the upgraded wooden tokens that you can get for the game. Discover the wildlife of the Serengeti and capture these moments to film the documentary of a lifetime. Discover the wide range of animals that inhabit the Serengeti, capture their lives in the wild on camera and film scenes, collect exciting scenes and create powerful synergies to advance your score, adapt to the ever-changing environment and plan your actions efficiency, efficiently, I should say. These strategies are endless with amazing replayability. All right, so as it says here, this is the Kickstarter edition, contains the promo pack in addition to the base game. So depending upon what edition of the game you may come across, this may have some differences, so just keep that in mind. All right, here we have our rule book. And taking a look inside, we see our list of components. All right, the game set up. And then we've got the overview. The goal of the game is to be the player with the highest documentary score at the end of the game, which is represented by the star icon. There's a total of six rounds. Each round, players take turns by paying one to two coins to perform a basic action in a clockwise direction, or you can pass. All right. So the round. During each round, players must perform, or players perform a basic action in turn. They put their player mark on an action space on the action board and pay the amount of coins. And so it goes through the different types of basic actions. Discover carnivorous predators, discover large mammals, discover scavengers, discover migratory herbivores, swap animal positions, move an animal one to three spaces, take one card from the scene card pool, and renew the scene card pool and take one card. They've got some restrictions, they've got some free actions. They talk about the scene cards, which you use to complete, uh, to gain rewards and benefits. They talk about the different types of scene cards, different rules about them, completing scene cards, rewards, icons, lots about scene cards. That's gonna be probably, looks like the meat of the game. And then you've got round preparation, which is, looks like a, a kind of a process you go through between rounds. All right, and then the end of the game, after round six, Players count up their scores along with bonus scores earned from like icons and other specialist cards if applicable. Players with the highest star value wins the game. We've got some advanced rules where you can put in some specialist cards as well. And then we've also got a solo and co-op mode and it shows you how that works as well. All right, with some looks like different types of kind of scenarios perhaps. All right. Let's take a look at our components. Looks like we've got a double-sided board here with a score tracker around the outside. Kind of scroll that around so you can get a better feel for it. All right, there you go. Two-sided board there. And we've got another board here. This is gonna be where you're placing your, taking your actions from, it looks like and the different maybe types of animals that go on there would be my guess. We've got some cardboard components. Thick cardboard, these are the award tiles looks like, but good quality cardboard there. And it looks like some things here that are gonna be replaced by wooden tokens in this edition that I am showing you because it is uh, you know, kind of an upgrade. Looks like this is a construct that you're going to build. All right. It looks like you probably are going to have to take it apart between games. I don't know that it's going to fit built inside of the box. It does not look like it will. All right. So we have got a nice screen printed drawstring bag here. I can very easily get my hands in there. So that's good. I'm gonna save the wooden pit bits for last because those are gonna probably be the kind of the showpiece here. We've got a little 
mini expansion, which are our specialist cards, with along with the rule book for it, it looks like. Let's take a look at those, why not? So we can get an idea of some of the cards and what they look like, the scene cards here. This is a terrain scene, adjacency scene, straight lines. So different ways that you can orient the animals. And here are our specialists. I really, really like the art in this. That obviously is always going to be a matter of personal taste, whether art is something that is appealing to you or not, but I do think this looks very nice. There's a whole lot of cards, so I'm not going to be spending a lot of time looking at the cards here because there are just so many of them. But I'm going to show you enough to give you an idea. All right. So different ways of trying to orient the animals and then different rewards you're going to get. It's also nice that there's a little flavor text on all of these. The mother lion will not produce more litters until her cubs reach two years old. All right, so you're getting an idea. Also, we have some specialists kind of hidden in there as well. All right, maybe some setup cards perhaps would be my guess. Some player aid cards, double-sided with an icon guide on the back as well, so that's very nice. All right. And we've got another huge deck of cards here. Two, actually, so two large-sized decks of cards. I'll just take another quick look at those, and then we'll start looking at the wooden bits, because again, I think those are going to be kind of the showpiece components of this game. Okay, I think we're, there's a whole lot of cards here. You're not going to probably run out of different orientations. So that's good with the cards. Let's start looking at these wooden pieces here. All screen printed. These are really, really nice looking pieces here. Really impressive. Double-sided screen printing on all of these. They just look fantastic. And then that's the small bag of the wooden pieces. Let's look at the larger bag. So you've got the different kind of cameras in the player colors. And you've got all of these beautiful screen printed wooden animals that you are taking photos of in the wild. The Serengeti, I'm trying to show at least one example of each. I may miss a couple in here. But let's see if I can try to get most of them. And apologies if I miss one, but I think I'm getting I think I'm getting all of them here. All right, so beautiful animals. Did I show that one? I don't know. Okay. Um, then we've got this box of upgrading wooden tokens, which was a an, an add-on for the Kickstarter. But let's show those off as well. You can see these are basically replacing their cardboard counterparts that we saw earlier. So. Some nice, again, double screens printed on both sides. Very good quality wooden components. I'm a sucker for this type of stuff, so I'm on board. All right, well, this is a game that um, I don't know exactly how it's going to be gameplay-wise yet. I'm certainly optimistic and hopeful for it, but it, the production is pretty impressive. That is Wild Serengeti. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing!